So if you've clicked on this video, then I'm assuming you might have some questions about the Garmin navigation system that lives within our DNR1008 RVS. For those of you who don't know, this receiver was specifically made for larger vehicles like RVs or semi-trucks that can't navigate all of the same roads something like a sedan could. So this software is specifically loaded for those larger body vehicles. Let's take a look at how to navigate, pun intended, the Garmin software that lives within this receiver. So let's get into the software itself. Now this is where we can select where to, to enter an address for example. We can view our map, there's some apps that would benefit us, and there's also a settings section, which is where I want to start. Because like I said, this software is designed for larger vehicles. So we need to tell Garmin how large of a vehicle we're in. For example, here if we select RV profile, we have the ability to select between a semi-truck or an RV. Now in this case, I have an active profile that I already created. But once you do this, you'll have the ability to enter your width, the length of the vehicle, the weight of the vehicle, and so much more. I'm going to select this profile to make it the active profile. Now once we do this, we can then go back to begin planning our routes. Now the system knows what kind of vehicle it's installed into. Now here's some really cool perks about this. Say for example, we want to find local RV parks. We have the ability to select that, scroll through to see which parks are within the area, select a random one, and we can begin our route that easily. Now let's say that we're using this in a semi-truck. The trucking menu allows us to have quick resources at our fingertips. For example, if we want to find local rest areas that are nearby, truck stops in the event we want to pull over. Maybe we need to fuel up or we want to grab a quick snack. There's way stations ahead to let you know how far away the nearest one is and so much more that's built into this software to help benefit you while navigating these roads that you'll be driving down. You also have the ability to plan RV services to help you with things like finding dump stations or propane fills, truck stops, mobile services, tires, RV repairs, and towing companies that would be located within your area. If you have your home address set, which I do not in this case, then you can enter that address to begin storing that. In this case, it's a quick button to take you home from wherever you're located. Campgrounds or RV parks. The list continues to go on on how we can benefit by having a software included. Let's say we want to find a quick bite to eat. We have a fast food menu we could select, or if we wanted to have something like barbecue, we could select this to find local barbecue places so that we could add them in to the route that we've already began. In the app section, there's a few things here that could benefit us too. A trip planner to help us plan our trip, or the eco route. Now to begin with this, if you haven't set the vehicle profile like we talked about earlier, it'll prompt you to do that. But that's because Garmin needs to know one, what kind of fuel your vehicle uses, so let's say it's diesel, two, how many miles per gallon your vehicle typically gets. So in this case, let's say 15 in the city and 20 on the highway. Average fuel price per gallon, let's say $3, and then press enter. So once all of that's set up, we can go back into the eco route, and then we'll have access to some great features at the pump here, for example, which we can use this to change those fuel prices if we wanna keep all of this information accurate. If we go into fuel economy, this will show us how much fuel we've used and the cost of fuel that has been used in this trip. Vehicle profile, which is again to change some of that information if we do need to do so, and mileage report which I haven't taken any trips with this receiver yet. So let's go back and take a look at some of the other options that are available. Where I've been is just an easy way to use a previous address on a trip that you've taken. My data, which would give you your trip logs and allow you to delete some of those points of interest that you may have selected. And the best part is there's a help section in the event you need help navigating any of these options that are available. Believe it or not, I do have a somewhat common call whenever people are asking for their Garmin settings. And that is, how do I change the appearance of the vehicle? So if you wanna know how to do that, we can select settings, we can go into the map and vehicle option, and right here at the very top, we have vehicle icon. Now this gives you a list of different vehicle types that you could select based off of which vehicle the receiver is actually installed in. So let's say, for example, we want to use that semi-truck option we talked about earlier. Here we can select the icon and hit save. There's a lot of other adjustments that can be made here though. Whether it's our driving map view, 
We wanna change the map buttons, dashboards, auto zoom, features that we'd like to enable or disable to help customize our experience with the Garmin navigation software. How cool is it that on this receiver, we actually have the ability to have our Garmin route as a wallpaper that lives on the home screen of the receiver itself. Now you don't always have to look at this. If you'd like to change this, we have different wallpapers and settings that can be adjusted, but to make it easier for you on your drive, you have the ability to have that Garmin navigation running in the background and view it while also accessing different sources, for example, like your tuner. Kenwood.